Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? We got another Commander of Legends 2 Dungeons and Dragons battle for Baldur's Gate Magic the Gathering Draft Booster Box. Ba -da 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 -da. There's a lot of words in there. All right, we're going to open this up, kind of rip through it pretty quick. See what we can get. Don't forget to check out the description below. There's some good links down there. Save your money, get your cash back on all your magic purchases. A bunch of really good sales on Amazon right now. The links are down there. Check those out. All right, inside here, you got your command the draft, shows you how to draft. The drafting is pretty weird. I did a draft the other night. It was, uh, it's definitely different, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So it's a fun set to draft. Um, they worked really hard on making it a fun set to draft, I think, but they didn't work very hard on making a lot of value in it. They didn't put any big hits like the uh, first Commander Legends, and I think that's one thing that's a little disappointing about this one. Might hold the set back in the future. But we'll see what happens. Cummins, uncommons. Got our background. We have a rare Gale Waterdeep Prodigy. Eldritch Pact. Our foil. And a token. There. So, what are you guys thinking of the set so far? Were any of you able to do the pre release the other night? I missed it, unfortunately. Had something come up last minute. Kind of missed it. It's a little bit of a bummer, but. I'll get, hopefully, to draft this at a, at a tournament one of these nights. Um, Reflecting Bull. Nice little reprint there, but again, just not in Soldier Token. They didn't put any, you know, big things like the Lotus or the Mana Drain or the Vampiric Tutor or anything like they did in Commander of Legends 1. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen down the road with this one. I don't think it's going to be as big as Commander of Legends 1 uh, as far as value down the road. Frank Lion... Well, and Soldier Token. I mean, all magic sets are going to go up. But I think Commander Legends 1 was just a... Just, they just put a lot of power in that set and the big chase cards in there. Uh, there's a lot of really good commons and uncommons in this set like there was in Commander Legends 1. Just not the not the big chase cards. Lazel's Acrobatics and a foil and initiative. Right. Keep going here. Kind of... Got to get going, so I'm trying to do this pretty quick today. <laughs> Look at faceless ones. Background. Dying Air. Invoke Adept. There's our first mythic, the Ancient Brass Dragon. Dragons seem to be a little popular. Well, a common construct token. We'll see what happens with them. Um, just like the first D&D set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, it seems like the they... They put a lot of faith in the dragons to sell the set, and I just don't know if that's going to work out the way they wanted it to. <laughs> Background blade of selves and full common and initiative. So, we'll see what happens. Those dragons are really powerful once they're on the board. Uh, they will be pretty good for commander, but as far as constructed play, probably not so much, which means, yeah. I'm not sure, like I said, how the value is going to hold up on this one. There's a rare background raised by giants. And then another mythic, the Balor. So, demon. There we go. Counter foil. Initiative token again. You want to make sure you get plenty of the uh, initiatives and dungeons there. Uh, pretty funny. All right. Uncommon background. John Arenicus. The shattered, shattered one. And a Kindred Discovery for a second rare. Fang Dragon Fall and a Treasure Token. All right, throw the way through the box. Let's see what the other two-thirds bring. We already got two Mythics, so we're ahead of the curve a little bit because I haven't been getting a lot of Mythics out of this set. So it's been a very Mythic week for me. There we go, Morphic Pool. Oh, beautiful Promenade, a foil. So two of the rare lands in one pack. That's the most rare lands we've gotten in a box so far. Copy Token. <laughs> and it's the first box we've opened that didn't have Sea of Clouds in it. That's the only rare land. <laughs> so, I have a playset of Sea of Clouds from this set already. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. All right. Trek pretty bad. There's an uncommon background. Tomb of Horror Adventurer. And Dream Fracture Foil and Initiative Token. Okay. All right. So, two of the rare lands, one of which is Foil, and two Mythics. Starting off okay. Hopefully it keeps going with that same kind of gusto down the road here. Uh, Bane, Lord of Darkness for our next rare. And Intellect Devourer. This guy's really good. 
and street urchin foil and a soldier token. Intellect Devourer is very powerful. <laughs> I was able to use that and do a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, it was pretty fun. All right. Manifold Key. Nice little uncommon. Uncommon background again. Barroom Brawl for a rare. Common foil and a copy token. All right. A little over halfway through the box, I think. Kind of trying to cook through this one, like I said. Do a quick video for you guys. Yeah, uncommon or common background. We got a Nero Wild Mage for our first rare, Ravenloft Adventure for the second rare, and then a common foil and initiative. I, I like the set. I think there's some really good cards in the set. Some good powerhouse, especially in the rares, obviously. Um, some good common and uncommon reprints. Uh, but like I said, I just don't see the big chase cards in here. Activist of Ogma and Confoil and Skeleton. Unconfoil. So that's the biggest difference I see between this one and the uh, first Commander Legends, which was awesome. I definitely loved the first Commander Legends. I went pretty heavy on it. Uh, Alright, Basilisk Collar reprint and full coming Fairy Dragon token. Alright, last pack of stack number two. Two thirds of the way. I'm right, making this kind of quick. It's only six minutes in already. All right, background. Robe of the Archmagi and a foil rare, the the Vlacketh's champion, and a soldier token. All right, last back. Let's see what we can do. Give us something good in the close here. We're so we stalled out at Mythics out on the first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ask and he shall receive a uh, knowledge ship for our next mythic and then a foil uh, monster manual. Foil rare for another foil rare. Fairy dragon. All right. So third mythic. But we're just not getting a lot of mythics in this set at all. I, I kind of miss the old Theros Beyond Death days when we were popping out mythics like they were Pez candy. I did love that. <laughs> and another Mozzie True Sword Paladin. There we go. Blood money for another mythic. Uncommon foil and initiative token. Right. We're up to four and two of the rare land. So, so far, this is definitely the best box I've opened, I think, as far as uh, just getting some decent hits out of it. Background. Altar of Ball. <laughs> boo. Hey, look at Boo. Got a Boo token. Altar of Balls. <laughs> Not an altar I want to pray at, if you know what I mean. All right, anyways, moving on. <laughs> and uncommon background. Displacer kitten. Oh, a little kitty. Look at him. Look at his green eyes. <laughs> uncommon foil and a soldier token. All right, we're getting down there. Four packs left. These boxes go pretty quick because uh, they're 20 card packs instead of a bunch of 15 card packs. So less packs, but more cards in each pack. So. Do tend to go a little faster. And coming background, or coming, coming background, coming background. All right, Shadow Heart, Dark ju Juice, Justicator, Justicator. <laughs> I can't read that. Uh, Traverse the Outlands, and a Common Foil, and a Night Token. I don't want to try and pronounce that. Justicator, Justicator. <laughs> Justicator, yeah, I right, couldn't tell you. All right, a rare background, Cultus of the Obsolete, Absolute, <laughs> and Gale's Redirection, and a Manor Gate Foil, and Initiative. Right, two more. Two more, and then we'll let you guys get back to your, your regularly scheduled programming. Uh, all right, let's see. Hopefully you guys are playing some kitchen table magic, because that's the best way to play the game. All right, Under Mountain Adventure, and a Cotton Foil Construct. All right. One more pack. Come on. Give us another mythic. We got up to four, which is okay, but for this set, not for not for <laughs> most sets, but for this set, four seems to be okay, but we want a five. There we go. Minsk and Boo, boardless, timeless heroes for the for the mythic hit. That's a good one. And then uh, uncommon background, then Elder Brain for a rare and treasure token. Alright, so there we go. We actually got two of the rare lands, one of them foil, the uh, bountiful promenade but it definitely looks like you're only going to get 
uh, one rare land per box, unless you get lucky and tap a foil. And then we got five mythics, one borderless, which is nice. Uh, the blood money, the nautilid ship, nautilid ship, valor, and ancient brass dragon. We got one of the dragons. Uh, we did pretty decent, I think, in this box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let me know how you're liking this set. Thank you guys so much for your time, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.